Hi, and welcome to Section 3. In the previous section, we learned how to interact with a web application programmatically using Python and Requests Library. In this section, we will learn about web application mapping. Then, we're going to build our first crawler with Scrappy. And finally, we're going to make it recursive and make it extract interesting information about the web application. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that covers what is web application mapping. In this video, we will learn about what application mapping is, why it is important, and finally, we'll see an example of how Burp Suite creates the map of an application. Remember in section one, we learned about the penetration testing process. In that process, the second phase was mapping. In the mapping phase, we need to build a map or catalog of the application resources and functionalities. As a security tester, we aim to identify all the components and entry points in the app. The main components that we are interested in are the resources that take parameters as input, the forms and the directories. The mapping is mainly performed with a crawler. Crawlers are also known as spiders, and usually they perform scraping tasks, which means that they will also extract interesting data from the application, such as emails, forms, comments, hidden fields, and others. In order to do application mapping, we have the following options. The first technique is crawling. The idea is to request the first page, pass all the content, extract all the links in scope, repeat with the links discovered until the entire application is covered. Then we can use an HTTP proxy to identify all the resources and links that may be missed by a crawler. Basically, most of the URLs that are generated dynamically in the browser with JavaScript will be missed by the crawler as the crawler does not interpret JS. Another technique is to discover resources that are not linked anywhere in the application by using dictionary attacks. We are going to build our own brute forcer in the next section. Here we have an example of how Burp Proxy creates the application mapping using the proxy and the spider functionalities. We can see the directories, the static pages, and the pages that accept parameters. With the different parameters and the different values. All the interesting parts will be used for handling vulnerabilities using different techniques like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XML injection, LDAP injection, etc. Basically, the aim of mapping is to cover all the application in order to identify the interesting resources for the vulnerability identification phase. In this video, we learned what application mapping is and why it is important. In the next video, we'll start developing our own crawler. Let's get ready.